And hello from Lights and Gear. I have a brief video here to again demonstrate the inconsistencies of cheap batteries such as the UltraFire here. I know we've done videos before of these, but I just had another different kind of practical demonstration here. First of all, let me just show you what the voltage of the battery is at the moment. Can we uh, get this on camera here? Okay, I have done some charging on the battery because it was down. So let me just um, put that up here and we'll tell you, show you that it is currently at 3.80. So there's your voltage at the moment, 3.80. For any 18650 battery, of, um, which is, you know, re reasonably good to use, 3.80 will get you um, a fairly good amount of light out of any traditional flashlight. But these aren't traditional batteries. Um, they're about eight times worse than what they claim to be. <laughs> uh, so anyway, let me just put this in the flashlight here, which happens to be the Nightcore uh, concept flashlight. So I'm going to put this in the light here, and this I will. I'm going to turn this on on. Um, I'm going to turn it on on high mode, which is um, 800 lumens. So. Let me press the button here and make sure that we're going to be on high mode. There's moonlight, there's low, there's medium. Okay, let me just do this again. Moonlight, low, medium, high. Okay, so the light is on high mode. And remember the battery is at 3.80. I'm going to turn off a light here. And uh, we're going to see approximately how long it takes for, for the battery to die. For the battery not to be able to power the flashlight any longer. Um, the flashlight actually has five modes. It has moonlight, low, medium, high, and turbo, but the battery is not strong enough to provide turbo mode to the light, so it only goes up to high. It goes moonlight, low, medium, high. Now did you notice that a second ago? It just dropped. It just uh, ramped from high mode to, I'm gonna guess, probably down to medium mode. So it didn't stay on high mode for more than a few seconds. And again, remember we started out at 3.80 volts, which is where, where the battery was. So, um, in the meantime, we'll just see what happens here over the next moment. And just to show you that I'm not doing any editing of the video, uh, I'm gonna give you the weather forecast. Today, uh, winds are light and variable for the moment. We have uh, basically, sunny skies. There are some puffy clouds. Temperature is uh, 71 degrees at the moment. Uh, that is about the expected high for today. It's not supposed to get much above uh, the low 70s and there's supposed to be some thunderstorms and general rain showers coming in this afternoon uh, through the warming of the sun. So uh, that hasn't happened yet. This morning was uh, partly cloudy and uh, we weren't getting a lot of sun this morning, but uh, with the sun, the temperature has gone up, and uh, so that's where we are at the moment. We are monitoring the flashlight here just to see what happens to this UltraFire battery. Um, that's interesting. Seems to have gone up. Oh, look what's happening now. Do you see what's going on? Look at that. This is amazing. There you go. The battery is now dead. How about that? It started at 3.80, I gave you the weather forecast, and the light has now gone off. Completely, completely shut off. All right, let's, uh, let's do this. Let's go and test the battery and see where it is now. All righty, let's go back and do another voltage test. 3.80. 11 is what it's at now, 3.11. Since I took it out of the flashlight, it's probably going to go up a tiny bit, 3.13. But that was quite a drop, wasn't it, from 3.80 to 3.11 in just a matter of two or three minutes. And that was with the flashlight on the highest mode. So just remember that as well, that it was on the highest mode that the, that the battery would uh, power the flashlight. Um, now not all 
ultrafire batteries are created equal. Not all cheap batteries are created equal. You won't find the exact same operation with everything. Now it's see there it got a little bit of power back up I turned it back on and it just won't power it at all it just died right out again so that is what you get when you get these types of batteries as I say they're not always the same there will be variables in different brands um, whether they be from a so-called flashlight company like refund or something like that um, but they're not all they're not all going to be identical but this is a, a fair representation of what most of these batteries are like and the kind of performance you actually get from them in a decent flashlight I could have turned the flashlight on one of the lower modes obviously it would have lasted longer how much longer I'm not sure but to have it on high mode is pretty realistic for a lot of people for a lot for a lot of people's usage so anyway that's it for this uh, for this edition of how bad ultrafire and similar uh, low capacity ultra cheap fake 18650 batteries can be hope you enjoyed the video leave questions and comments if you like below and uh, we'll catch you on the uh, on the flip side